Today is Monday, June 1st, and you're watching an SCW News Digest. Protests and looting in the streets of Stockton overnight. Some tense moments between Stockton police officers and protesters overnight after a demonstration downtown began blocking streets. Around 6 p.m., two to 300 people gathered for what organizers hoped would be a peaceful Black Lives Matter protest at MLK Plaza downtown. Just about 15 minutes into the gathering, protesters began taking to the streets, blocking off Center Street as they moved both north and south. Our cameras were rolling when a Stockton Police Department unit tried to drive down that street, a water bottle being thrown at the police cruiser. That is when officers with face shields and batons got into place, blocking off Southbound Center Street and Fremont Street. Eventually, demonstrators moved farther up north where officers pushed them to one intersection, as you can see happening here. That is when emotions flared, with some demonstrators yelling at officers. Later, however, the protests returned to MLK Plaza where it remained peaceful and eventually dispersed. Meanwhile, another protest simultaneously shut down March Lane. Demonstrators there marched on March Lane from around Pacific Avenue to Kentfield Road, where the crowd dispersed. And as those crowds were starting to disperse, looting was happening at a local Walmart. Around 9-12 p.m., officers responded to the Walmart on Trinity Parkway, where multiple people were looting the business. Four people were arrested in total, including three teenagers. $4,000 in stolen merchandise was recovered. There are a number of other protests planned for this week as well in Stockton. In solidarity with the people in Minneapolis, Minnesota, where an unarmed black man was killed by a police officer last week. Today, Stockton Police Chief Eric Jones addressed the, the events last night and the plans for this week during a press conference. The demonstration that was uh, downtown at MLK Plaza uh, was, was peaceful. Uh, they got their message out. And they have a very important message, and they were able to deliver that message without any um, criminal behavior, vandalism. And then we had a couple of other groups in a different part of town that we believe their absolute intent was just to uh, vandalize, um, create destruction, loot. And uh, we take that very seriously, and that's why we made four arrests, I believe, on that. Um, because we're not going to tolerate that. It's that absolutely takes our officers away from being able to give the proper service delivery, handling 911 for other things, it, it, takes, it takes our officers away from that. We will have continuous coverage of these demonstrations here and with live shots on my Facebook and Twitter pages. Switching gears now, police in Stockton are investigating a morning homicide. Around 7.17 a.m., police responded to Minor Avenue at Florence Street on reports of a person shot. When they arrived to the scene, they found a man dead of an apparent gunshot wound. Police do not have any suspect information or motive, but say that this is an active investigation. Those with information are encouraged to call the police or Crime Stoppers. This is now Stockton's 20th homicide of 2020. Coming up after the break, an update on the downtown Stockton Weber Point's water feature and the construction work going on. Put the keys down, Kevin. But I'm going to drive home. There are several warning signs present that you shouldn't be driving. My text to emoji ratio has gotten a little out of hand. A little? Yep, I'm definitely going to call a ride home. Welcome back. Some good news and some bad news. As many of you likely know, the water feature at downtown's Weber Point has been inactive the past couple of years due to mechanical issues. Well, just last year, the City Council voted on a plan to install a new water filtration system, amongst other repairs. You can see those repairs happening in this drone video that we shot earlier in the year. Well, the good news is that the repairs have been made and the water feature is ready to use. The bad news is that given the coronavirus pandemic, it can't be used. City leaders say that it will remain shut down until people are legally allowed to gather once again, but it is ready to go when that is allowed. Thank you for watching this SCW News Digest. I'll see you back here tomorrow with more news from Stockton.